In my previous video, I have shown you how to connect your Canon camera to your laptop or your computer for the first time. Please watch that video before starting this video because that's very important in order to connect your camera to your Wi-Fi. But some people still said that they couldn't connect their laptop or their computer to their camera because it never appeared in the list. So I'm gonna go through some of the troubleshoots that you can follow to make sure that your device would connect to your camera. Then after that, I'm gonna add a second device such as this laptop and show you how to do that. And then finally, I would turn off my camera and then turn on my camera again and I'll show you how to reconnect with your laptop once you have connected at least once. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, the first most important point is to make sure you install all the software that come with the Canon utility, particularly EOS Network Setting Tool. Once the installation is complete, make sure all the installation results are okay. If they are not okay, then you need to reinstall the Canon utility then when you launch Canon utility you might get a notification saying that the Canon utility would need to make some changes to your Windows firewall unfortunately because I have already accepted to make the changes to my firewall I didn't get this message again so I can't show you what kind of message it is but if you get such a message it is important to allow Canon to make the changes to your firewall otherwise go to the start and type in firewall then select firewall and network protection then select allow an app through the firewall if your Canon EOS is not checked in here then click on change settings and make sure that it is allowed or you could also click on allow another app and then add Canon manually in here and once you are done click on OK so let's go and reopen EOS utility if you haven't opened it already another most important thing is to make sure you click on this icon so that your Canon utility could check for updates this is perhaps one of the most important steps that you should take because when I try to connect my camera to my computer for the first time without downloading and installing the update it didn't work and once I downloaded and installed the new version of Canon utility then it worked therefore click on yes to start the download once the download is finished you need to literally go to this folder and then find the latest version and then you need to actually install the Canon utility again it would not automatically install it by just downloading it now that we have finished setting up Canon utility on our computer we can go to our Canon and turn it on on top of our Canon there is a button that has a symbol of Wi-Fi so select that these are other devices that we have already connected to Canon touch the right arrow to get more options select the laptop icon here shows another laptop that I have already connected to this Canon to learn how to do it for the first time please watch my previous video so now we have to select register a device for connection to add another device if you have already connected your Canon to a network then your network will show up in here and if you haven't connected before you can select another network or it will prompt you to connect it to the network for the first time meanwhile on your computer select pairing over Wi-Fi forward slash LAN and at the same time on your Canon camera select OK 
Then on your computer, the model should appear and then all you need to do is simply select it and then select connect. Then on your camera, it would say that your computer is found. Simply touch OK to finish the connection. Canon would remember the connection so we can turn off our camera and then turn on again and I will show you how to reconnect it again to the camera. As soon as you press the Wi-Fi sign, turn over the camera and you will see the available devices. So I will select the first one which is the one that we just added. Meanwhile, on your computer, select the EOS utility again. On your camera, you can see that the Wi-Fi is on and we are already connected to the computer. Now that we are connected, you can download images to your computer. You can do a remote shooting. You can change camera settings. But just for demonstration, I will select remote shooting. And if you select live view shoot, you can start filming remotely using your computer connected to your camera using your Wi-Fi. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.